We're here at the ITU studio in Geneva, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mr. Sochiro Seki, who is Director General for International Affairs for the Ministry for Internal Affairs and Communications in Japan. Mr. Seki, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. Thank you very much. I'd like to start off by talking about uh, the ITU Telecom events. Mm. Japan is a supporter of ITU Telecom events over many years mm. uh, and will be president of ITU Telecom World 2013. What value do you see in attending such mm. events? Mm. ITU Telecom is a very important occasion, we think, in the sense that uh, well, they, that will bring together the, uh, the latest development of technologies or many new services around the world. At the same time, the, uh, it is an uh, ideal occasion for us to interact with the, uh, the leaders from the government or leaders from the business around the world. So uh, uh, this kind of uh, occasion is very unique. That's why do we participate in an active manner in ITO Telecom meetings. Innovation will be once again a major topic at mm. uh, World 2013 mm. in Bangkok this November. What are the key innovations transforming the lives of ordinary people in Japan? Mm. I can think about two points. One point is that the uh, open data and the big data. And open data is and the big data is now coming to bring about a new horizon to the ICT innovation and the new services on ICT. At the same time, the next point is that the uh, ICT should bring about the changes in life of the people, as you said. Uh, in that sense, uh, ICT should be in every corner of the life. Or every in every corner of the society, uh, that means that the ICT should be utilized in healthcare, or e-government, or transportation, disaster prevention, and many things. So, in in that sense, uh, ICT should utilize the uh, already developed infrastructure, broadband. But now the next phase is how to utilize the. Uh, ICT technologies and uh, uh, broadband uh, infrastructure. That is our next agenda. So uh, the government of Japan is trying hard to uh, make the change in life utilizing ICT a real one. That is our agenda. And what are the principal regulatory challenges that the industry faces in times of such radical transformation? Mm. Uh, if we think about uh, the situation in Japan, the most uh, pressing challenge uh, regarding the regulatory issues is the uh, open data and the big data. The personal data utilization is an issue for the industry and both also for the individuals. Uh, for the industry, they should know the boundary of the utilization of personal data. And without knowing it, uh, the industry could hesitate to utilize personal data with confidence. On the individu individual sides, side, uh, if they think that the uh, rules or principles of utilization of their personal data is not established, established enough, they could feel uneasy. So uh, I think that the uh, confidence, both on the individuals and the uh, industries, need to be uh, established regarding the personal data utilization. And if we think about the uh, uh, many countries in the world, uh, predictability is also very important. Uh, ICT area is developing very fast. That means for many countries, once decided po uh, policies sometimes may be revisited. That means once decided policy could be changed. So uh, that's normal. That, things, that, that kind of things happen also in Japan. But the very important thing uh, regarding that uh, phenomena, predictability is important. So uh, for the in industries, without predictability, they could not be ambitious enough to invest or uh, to try another new innovative services. So uh, many countries, governments need to think about the way how to give uh, predictability, to give confidence to the industries. What in your opinion is the role of government versus private sector in ensuring 
the rollout of broadband services? I think the key word is uh, competition. So competition will bring about uh, lower prices and innovative services that will end up in the utmost customer satisfaction. So the government should design a good antitrust policy and competition policy so that the uh, industries compete each other with it, uh, uh, c uh, the u users will benefit from it. And finally, I'd like to ask you, what message will you hope to share at ITU Telecom World 2013 in Bangkok this year? I think about uh, two words. One word is uh, confidence building. So confidence building among the uh, countries from many regions and from many developed development is very important. Uh, maybe each country will think about many agenda depending on their situation back in their home. However, we can build confidence with sharing our policy experiences or sh sharing the national circumstances. Uh, with it, uh, we can think about the uh, common goal. Another key word is uh, common viewpoint on our future direction. Uh, next uh, place of the uh, telecom world is in Asia. Asia is a very diversified region. It has many countries of developed, uh, different develop, uh, development level. Our regional situation is also different in Asia. So Asia is the ideal place to think about uh, different agenda dep depending on the national circumstances. But Asia is a place we can think about a common agenda or common direction. That will be a good uh, uh, insights for the countries from other regions as well. Mr. Seki, thank you very much indeed. Thank you very much. My pleasure.